record of 17 victories, five defeats, 11 of those victories coming by way of knockout. He is a former world title challenger from Zamboanga, Philippines, Jonas Wanshot Salta. He weighed in at 117.6 pounds, wearing white trunks with red and black trim. He brings a perfect record, 14 wins, no defeats, all 14 victories coming by way of knockout from Guayas. is chanting Caraballo's nickname, but he's going to need something special in this last minute and a half of round number 10. A lot of questions answered for me tonight. Caraballo definitely got a lot of skill, and he also has punching power. The one thing, the box that he didn't check for me that he's checking right now, does he have a chin? If he had a chin, I said this young man could be a world champion. But as of right now, what I'm seeing, he's going down every time he gets hit. I said this young man could be a world champion. But as of right now, what I'm seeing, he's going down every time he gets hit. Flush Donner, 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 Sultan has already beaten. 118 is Jason Molyakin, Takuma Inoue, John Real Casimero, who Sultan has already beaten. Mubali, Jason Maloney, Takuma Inoue, Rigan Dow, and take that shot too. Stuff, guys. Yeah. And all them boys can punch. Yeah. <laughs> he can rip that uppercut right there. And take a shot too. And time will yeah. tell with Carabao if he can take a shot or not. This keeps happening there. I that think that's a fair assessment, but it's tough to say in this kind of fight. You know, time will tell with Carabao if he can take a shot or not. This keeps happening there. I think that's a fair assessment, but, 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 but yeah, it's tough to say in this kind of fight. You know, give him a few more fights. I agree with that. But I appreciate the way he's got a nice right up in this fight. Had never been past six rounds, and sort of ton he's of really been in this fight. Nice it's just right been those upper, slight Carvalho mistakes that Sultan's been able had to never take been past six advantage rounds. of. And that Mark, he's really been in this fight. It's just been those slight mistakes that Sultan's been able to take advantage of that mark a huge difference in this fight. <laughs> Referee Johnny Callis said it best. Great fight, guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. Great fight. My Great nerves fight. are so up. Right Referee now. Johnny Collins said it best. Great fight, guys. Wow. Great fight. Oh my my nerves are so up. Great fight. There was a lot fast. to enjoy see, in this fight if you like power punches. You see, Sultan get, get, get that right hand in there. Yeah. These guys started off straight fast. from the jump, and that started all the trouble for Carabayu. And see, Sultan, they just opened get, up. Get that right he wanted hand to see if Carabayo could respond Straight from the, the right jump, way and that started all the respond. trouble he for did. Carabayo. He got his own left hand and they just multiple opened times. up. We wanted he to see if right Carabayo could just respond that right way. way. But it seemed like and every time he Carabayo did, would he got his own left hand Sultan would land a shot that would send Carabayo down and change the momentum of the fight. But Carabayo never stopped trying to win. He never stopped trying to think his way and fight his way back into the fight. And you have to respect that. But I think... Sultan just had too much punching power, too much it, size, and fight his way back Carabayo into the fight tonight. And you have to respect that, but I you think what? Sultan just had too Bernardo, much punching power, too much size for Carabao tonight. You got a lot of punching you know power, 14 and 0, 14 knockouts. He didn't get knocked out tonight, but what I'm saying is he got knocked down you several times. I give him 14 and 0, 14 knockouts. And having a he didn't get knocked out to tonight, but what I'm saying is, like he got knocked down He does times. have a ton of skill. He does have a ton of strength. And, and having I'm not sure what's going to happen tonight because the fight 15 power punches thrown. And although Caraballo landed 10 more, the 85 that Sultan landed, he made them count tonight, Mark. Hey, whatever happens tonight, I pay to see each of these guys again, and I pay twice to see a rematch. <laughs> Come on, Mark, you've never paid for a fight in your life. you got all the hookups and connections in the world, please. But that's heartening to say that Mark would actually open up his wallet to watch wow, these two man. fight. <laughs> no, it, this is the entertainment. This is boxing when you see them having their, you know, heart on their sleeves. And Mark Chinook is still getting the numbers added up. We got to get this commission a calculator, I'm telling man. You, man. I'm telling you, it right makes now. me nervous, Tim, every time. <laughs>
man, they they you know what they filling out they they uh, scorecards with pencils with, with erasers on the end of them. <laughs> All right, let's see what the judges have to say after the four knockdowns in favor of Jonah Sultan. Mark Chinook has the official numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. After ten rounds here inside the Hulu Theater, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. All right.